Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing Fizz Mid or how to actually Fizz Mid in season. Oh, I forgot to put on my socks. It's kind of cold. All right, uh, how to actually Fizz Mid in season 12 or how to win every game in season 12 as Fizz. I don't know if we all actually win this. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took Electrocute, Sun Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Triumph, Cope the Grace. Those are the rune stats there. All right, the sound is on. And in this lane, we're playing against Vex, one of Fizz's hardest. Okay. It's just a hard matchup, really. Because Vex, Earl Kit counters Fizz. It's anti engage. UW. As long as her passive is stacked, you W, Q in, or Q auto W, you try to do that. As soon as you Q in, mid animation, she'll knock you away, gain a fat shield and combo you up. I mean, and if she holds on to her passive, her autos actually hurt. If you mini trade and then try to all in after that, she has corrupting potion and she took exhaust. So when I do try to all in her with level six, uh, it's going to be rough. But basically what I'm doing is... Uh, yeah, her, her she's really squishy. At least in the early early game level six, when she has no Everfrost, HP, or kind of the Shattered Queens. But I mean, typically, we gotta be paying attention to our jungler and silence to look for uh, roaming opportunities, most likely. But we'll see. It's that exhaust. See, if she took TP, she'd be a lot more on the killable side of things, but. It's a bit rough. Yeah, I'm going to get hit and feared. We can go for a mini trade because uh, she, she didn't have her passive there. It's like our only moment to go for a mini trade anyways. This lane is so rough. She has her thing stacked. See if she uses it on minions. She's probably just going to save it for me. It's warded. See, if she, oh, see the autos, man. Oh my god, the auto range. I'm gonna try to hit her with some autos here. Oh. Unlucky. Like, legit, you cannot trade this. It's so unfortunate. Wave state's kind of doomed, but you have to just kind of accept it. And basically, for builds, I actually think Protobelt's still a good rush. But, I mean, Ludens, of course, being more common. Basically, the pros and cons is wave clear for Ludens and then fighting for Proto because Proto gives you HP, AP, and ability haste. Like, all those things you need to fight. Well, Ludens gives you mana, which is what you need to wave clear. But if you conserve your Corrupting Potion, you technically don't need it if you're recalling at efficient timings too. But, I mean, I guess it's a preference thing. I'm probably just going to rush Ludens. This lane is, uh, yeah, it's mighty hard. Vax might be stuck here. The goal is just to shove it. Nice. Triumphed. Nice. She had a recall there. This lane is so rough. Oh, is the wave pushing back to me? I actually go for the cannon. Or just try to crash the wave. I think the wave was doomed. We need that level six. Exhaust is such a broken keystone, too. Unfortunate. Gonna drop a ward right there just in case Vex tries to roam. But I mean, she's not gonna be level six. We have two wards, so we're, we're chilling. Master is AFK farming. As Orin, oh man, Orin, Orin and mid lane, both gankable lanes, by the way. <laughs> I know, he just, uh, Master Yi players, they farm, they farm, they farm, and hopefully they coin flip that mid game and they're useful in team fights. At least some of the Master Yi's all of us play with, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to shove in. Okay, Vex recalled. Vex recalled on a cannon wave, so that's good on her part. I think if, as soon as I crash this cannon wave, I should be able to hit level 6 and then maybe look for a roam topside. Because Orin's actually taking decent trades. 
What is Lucian out of TP? Alright, should be doable. Yeah, this should give me level 6, and I could look for the roam. Nah, bot lane, Lulu Kogma, barrier heal, which I'm pretty sure they have. We're just gonna be here. I think Lucian uh, dies there, though. All right, yeah. Just in case, just in case. Just in case. Just hovering that play. Alright, Vex is level 6. That's actually really good. I need mana. She's prone to getting all in now. I'm gonna get a ward bot side. See what that's all about. There we go. See, like I said, level six. That's where she's prone to get, getting all in. She didn't have her exhaust. I know that because ignite comes up faster than exhaust, right? Yep. It's 280 versus... Uh, okay, we just want to reset here. Even getting that tower plating won't make a difference and we could die. Oh, double kill bot. Unfortunate. Yeah. Like the... the, the I guess like the meta thing to do is lo rush Lost Chapter, especially in the AP lanes. Against AD, you could rush Zonias and then go Ludens, but... This is like the meta thing to do. It's like... I, I hate... Heck, uh, Protobelt. What I don't like is this. I don't like this change. I really hate it. So you might actually have to go like amp into blasting one and then alternator. But yeah. Nice. Nice job, Master Yi. Well played. Oh. We're up a level, so we We actually should look for that. We're up a level. Oh! That's such a terrible tragic lane to play against we bursted the vex before she was able to get her uh, full stacks there for the shield it's whenever her shield is down you have to trade don't trade you lose the lane it's like vex playing against the yasuo lane uh what else there's a lot of lanes anyone with just they need to engage. It's just rough. All right, so we're going to take a tower plating. We're going to step back here. Bot lane, there's no kill pressure. Let's see if we can go top. Nice. Well played, well played. Maybe even drop a word here since I think Maokai will be top side. Going to rush Ludens. It's a cannon wave, so we're not going to lose much mid. Kogma, Lulu, ay, uh, yeah, yeah. The thing is, at the beginning of season uh, 12, I thought Crown of the Shattered Queens was going to be a strong buy on Fizz. They nerfed it, but it typically just, it doesn't give enough damage. <laughs> so you can't utilize it like Victor, where you're just like stomping all over everyone with a lot of defense. You actually need the AP from either Ludens or, uh, we're going to try to go for a mini trade and then all in the Vex. Yep. E on top of that. Oh, Malkite. See, like I, I knew it. I knew it. What did I say? Like, I, it's all about jungle tracking. That's how you have average really low deaths on uh, assassins. This is your jungle tracking. Let's see what's happening, bot. Orn TPs. I think that's a really good TP. It's a really good TP, right? Right. I might actually start roaming here. I can't. It's too late. It's better for me to... Because I think Vex is roaming bot. So it's probably just better for me to push tower platings. Oh, uh, yeah. It's probably too late. The damage was already done. But this is good. Good stuff. That's what I'm talking about. And every time laner roams, they miss out on like a wave and a half. Probably even two waves. And like two tower plating. So that's like three kills total. If they don't ro if they roam. Let me see if I can. Oh, I just want to recall actually. There's no one on the map anyways. If they roam and it doesn't work out. They basically lost out on three kills of opportunity. Come on Master Yi. Honestly we could take mid. I'm being honest. We could probably take mid with uh, Rift Herald, but 
It's all on him if he wants it. Because that's first tower too. And I and taking it mid means that mid lane can roam at any time. And that's massive. Since I could apply pressure to any lane I'd uh, ideally want. Bot lane's rushing with send. Alright. No shield. No shield on the Vex. We just go in. And I'm mostly panning my camera topside. Oof. Nice. I'm mostly panning my camera topside because bot lane, because Kogma's rushing wit send, it's uh looking a bit unfortunate there. Yeah. Because, yeah, barrier heal. It's not looking like we have a lot of kill pressure unless Kogma and the Lulu are both super low. Oh. We can go for a mini trade. We have mana from the Ludens. Might be able to even path top here. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. See if we can path top. Go for it. Go for See, that's what I'm talking about. When lanes are low, that's when you want to roam. Don't go to the lanes with full HP. Roam. You got that? Alright, no, bot lane's an issue, though. But the goal, anyways, is to play. Oh, he's going to take the tower without me? Come on, Master Yi. The goal is to play for the lane that's... uh ahead man he could have placed that a lot a lot sooner so that way i could get the first tower gold too but so be it you want to play for the lane that's ahead and then the two of you will stomp the lane that's losing it's like the ultimate goal all right maybe i can actually path here get the shutdown gold could be doable only if maokai is not here Oh, yeah, yeah. No, stop the recall. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah. Lulu recalled, so there's no shielding. I thought the Ludens was going to make me miss, uh... The Ludens was going to make me miss our good old cannon minion. But now, now Kogma buys Witsend. See, Shadow Flame, even with Lulu shielding, it's not worth. If you get it at third item most of the time. Yeah. Because if you do the math, 50%. Oh, yeah, yeah. The math is kind of hard to do anyways. But basically, Void Staff reduces like... I believe... Alright, they get Objective Bounty. Yeah, 45% of 52. What is that like? 25 and then at max this item can grant 20 percent magic penetration so like you see what i'm saying if you do the math it's just it just wouldn't be as uh efficient my god i'm being honest i'm like 50 50 on that yeah i think that worked oh there's a tp but i mean kogma only has one item that's the thing if Kogma had two or three, then it would have been uh, a bit different. Gotta love the Master E, I guess. Oof. Oh, they don't have exhaust. Huh. I, I honestly think both could work. Barrier heal as like their defense or... Hmm. I didn't see how low the tower was. Give me it. Give it to me. Give me that solo gold. See, there's the crown of the Shattered Queens. Oh. Yeet. No, Lucian's probably low enough for me to dive. 
I don't care about Maokai. If Maokai shows here, we'll look, look for the all-in. Or realistically speaking. We just want to look for the Lucian. Get uh, Zonius here. Shove and roam. You can do that on Fizz. That's probably the most consistent way to carry anyways. It's an assassin after all. Kogma going Witsend into Rage Blade. Interesting. The Witsend's probably smart for me. They need the exhaust for the Master Yi. Good thing. Good thing that uh, Vax already used it. Ba -ba -da -ba. And as for third item, typically I like going Rabadons. But if you only have 850 gold, it's probably best that you just spend the gold on uh, Wisp or Blasting Wand towards the uh, Lich Bane. Dude, that's the pro. The pro of playing. Let's see. The pro of playing Fizz. When you get ahead, uh, it's all assassins. You have a lot of burst damage, am I right? Oh, uh, murder shield bow. Nice. Master Yi has 1k worth of gold for shutdown, so he has to be careful. My god, a thousand gold for the Kogma. Yeah, that's actually really bad. I knew that was coming too. I'm probably going to sell my Corrupting anyways, because typically use Corrupting for the mana most of the time. Oof, we could even go Magi's. Nah, as of right now, I, I don't know. Magi's is also good, but typically... You're gonna get a bigger spike for when you actually do buy the Rabidons. Like legit. All we have to do is just group up now. I focus the Lulu, Mashi focus the Kogma. I can one shot Lulu, I can't one shot Kogma because Lulu's just gonna shield the Kogma. And along with Barrier and Woodsend, it's looking pretty doomed. Rabidons is still the go to since it's only one of them building MR. But Void Staff wouldn't even be bad. What the? How did I? It's literally Riot Games, Brain Dead Company. Disappointment. Makai has some MR. Oh, it's doomed. Can't really do much about that. <clears throat> it's Ocean. Oh, we don't know what soul it is. Thought it was Cloud Soul. Cloud Soul or Ocean Soul. Nice. It is not bad. Literally, they're just gonna pull the cog. Probably one of us split pushing's gonna be the best way to gain a lead somewhere. No, I'm on my way. Ah, uh, I have no R. Go for it, Master Yi. Can you? Probably not. I'm here though. Oh, that looks doomed. See? He was panning his camera mid. I could tell. Come on now. Alright, so typically on Fizz, mid game, anyways, it's uh. You shove a side lane, and when it crashes under the tower, that's when you look to go mid. Since someone has to show bot for the wave. That's how you consistently gain a lead. You don't take tires quickly, so you're not really a split pusher. Yep, yep, yep. How much MR does he have? Barely any. I think I need Rabadons before I'm able to go for the one shot. Get Vex's spell shield off. Got Vex's spell shield off. Now I can actually look for it. 
Hmm. There we go. Hmm. I have to recall just in case they try to go barren. Legit, like. Uh, it's just such a bad fight to take. Because we're not contesting objectives off that. This tower is gone, and then mid towers are gone. And the only one that's left is bot tower. Which grants like 550 gold, so you want to go for it. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a throw fight right there. They shouldn't have taken it. Because there's no objectives to fight over. Maybe I could steal the Baron, though. No, I can't. I don't even want to get my shutdown gold. Uh, Yeah, I don't want to get my shutdown gold. That's just throw fight, really. Like, honestly, there's no reason to fight that. Logically speaking. Should have played for that bot inner tower. Which we were going to get. We actually got it, but... Expensive Baron. Oh... See, that's why you never Oof, my ears that's why you never forfeit that's why you never forfeit take this let me go there i need it i need the wave never forfeit because look we just threw bounty gold we just threw a lot a lot a lot so you never forfeit because every game is winnable shit still shit no way oh no no way I knew that was gonna happen. It was gonna be close though. Just don't fight. Stop! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! I need Ravidons if I want burst. Oh, they're, they're top side. Huh. Maybe you actually can shove mid. Objective bounty there. Do they actually win that though? Hmm. Maybe I can actually look here, though. That's the thing. That's the funny part. Oh, Lulu's here. Unlucky. Ah. Probably could have even got that. But I have no mana, so it's just best I recall. All right, we play for drag, and then we actually should win the game. <sighs> Let me recall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to go void for any MR they do have. This is an easy team fight. Come on, team. Come on, team. Oh, HP and MR. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I go for Lulu. Master Yi goes for the Master Yi, uh, the, the Kog'Maw. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. And this is for Ocean Soul, so it's massive. We ignore everyone else. Just tank it. Look for it. Literally. Basically on Fizz, when you're ahead, you go for the person that's most fed. Basic rule of thumb. Nice. They stole it. All hail the Lulu movement speed. Help me. Yep, there we go. Thousand gold shot down. Hey, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You play the team fights right, you win them. Focus the Lulu. We kill whoever is after that. Oh. Because if we just focus Kogma, Lulu's going to shield the Kogma. We just uh we kill the person who has the shields, then we can kill the person who has the damage. You see what I'm saying? Am I recording? I am nice because Lulu has no MR and tankiness. It's only Kogma. And sometimes, if your ADC is fed, you focus whoever's closest to the ADC. I hate. I hate getting. It's always embarrassing. I always get uh, Magi's and then I throw it. I always lose my stacks. Always. All right, we should be able to one shot him. Yep. Gain some stacks. Might actually go into their top side here. Let's 
Hearts. I know their blue has to be up. I knew it. Oh, Maokai wouldn't farm it. There we go. Uh, he just eat forward though. That's the thing. Ah, uh, it's worded. Like just group, just group, just group. Ah, no, don't fight, don't fight. Nami's dead. She's the one with exhaust and ulti and heals. It's too good to give up. What the? Maybe we can actually look for it though. That's the funny part. Just gotta get a max range shark. Oh, a lot of healing, a lot of shielding. Yep, massive shark. And Zonius to live. And just like that, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, clear mid, clear mid. I'm out. You should upgrade my item. My item. Who do you upgrade? Oh, come on. The Master Yi? You think the Master Yi's doing all the work? You're joking. You're joking. Come on, Orin. We just want mid and hib. Yeah, probably just mid and hib. Mm, can't look for the end. Maybe we. Mm, yeah, I think we might be able to look for like two towers, but. Alright, I'm. Just gonna fall back. All right, this might actually be a really doomed fight. Yeah, fall back, fall back. Make sure they don't go barren. Should have upgraded my item. The 22 Magiced Juiced Up Fizz. I have to reset, though. Like, they can't go barren, I don't think. Oh, it's a bad fight. My god, look at all that MR and tankiness. Immortal Shield Bow 2. Didn't even go Kakin Slayer. No no Gale Force. Well, I mean, I guess that is on the defensive side of things. You can actually look for it. See? One shot the Lulu. Guess what? Because we one shot the Lulu. Guess who has no healing? Or shielding, I mean. Kogma. Triple kill. Come on, Penta! Ah, uh, no Panta. Ah, uh, no Panta. Unlucky. But just like that, that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. It's had to carry on Fizz in Season 12. Not bad. Basically, nothing's changed ever since Season 11. Like, no new build paths, but... Hey... That's fizz for you. Catch you in the next one. I'm out.